Hi everyone, this is Amina from Phone Bunch and today we are benchmarking the Xiaomi Redmi 1S available for just Rs. 5999 with specs equivalent to the new Moto G. You have a 4.7 inch HD IPS display, Android 4.3 with MIUI running on the device. You have a Snapdragon 400 quad core processor clocked at 1.6 GHz with Adreno 305 GPU. You have 873 MB RAM available out of 1 GB, 5.7 GB internal storage, 8 MP primary camera with LED flash, BSI sensor and a 1.6 MP front facing camera is also available. Coming to battery, you have a 2050 mAh unit available and there's just a plethora of sensors and you can see all are working fine. Starting with the benchmarks, we are going to run Antutu. It's been fast forwarded to get to the results quickly. And you got a score of 21390, which is an excellent score with the Snapdragon 400, higher than all the other phones in the segment, even the new Moto G. Now we are running Nina Mark 2. It's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS score. And we got 57.1 FPS, meaning high end games should be playable on this device. And we have seen that with the new Moto G as well. Adreno 305 performs quite well. Now we are running the Quadrant Benchmark, full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded. And we got a score of 11,015, which is much higher than any other phone in this segment. Much higher than even the new Moto G, which costs more than double the price of this phone. Now we are running Velamo HTML5 chapter. It will run Sun Spider as well as V8 Benchmark Suit. And we got a score of 1693, which is higher than the new Moto G, Asus Zenfone 4 as well, but lower than the Unite 2. Now we are running the metal chapter of LMO, specifically test to pressing capabilities of the device. We got a score of 891, which is again higher than the current gen Moto G, as well as the Micromax Unite 2 and Acer Zenfone 4, and just below the HTC One, which you can see above. Now we are running single thread lint pack. We got a score of 103.11, which is again a very good score. Now we will run the multi thread test, and we got a score of 272.04. Both are higher than the current Moto G. Now it's multi touch test time. I have all 8 and now 10 fingers on the display. And you can see all are detected. So it's a 10 point multi touch display just like the Moto G. And you can also see that this phone has a notification LED right there just below the home button. It's glowing green right now. And USB OTG is also supported. I'll just show that to you. So I've plugged in a USB OTG pen drive. And you can see that it has been detected. And right from within the notification shade, you can jump into the file explorer. You can see the amount of storage. It's a 16 gig pen drive. I'll play a 1080p video for you. So you can see right there, we are playing the 1080p video directly off the USB storage. And it's flawless. Moreover, since USB OD support is baked in, you can just unmount the storage directly from your settings. And there you see. Overall, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is a revelation at Rs. 5999. You get the specs of the Moto G, a vibrant and sharp 4.7 inch HD IPS display. Overall, solid build quality, even though it might seem a bit bulky, 8 megapixel primary camera, and quite truly, you couldn't ask for more. We'll be back with more on the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Till then, you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the new Moto G. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Do visit phonebunch.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.